Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can integrate Notion with Zapier. First of all, what we have to do, we want to create ourselves an account at uh, Notion.com and uh, we can make this integration happen or basically use Zapier for Notion. So, first way, how we can make an integration in Notion, it's through automate.io. I will leave the link in the description down below. We want to hover over integrations and we want to go to the bottom left corner and see all categories. Once we click there, uh, there are a couple of uh, options for us, uh, but we want to start with uh, Notion. We pick Notion and in this part, in the right side, uh, you have to pick the action the app that will be affected by Notion. So let's go with Slack, for example. And as you can see, there are a couple of popular integrations. And if you scroll down, you can create your own integration. But uh, how we can make it uh, work in Zapier? At Zapier, we also have to create an account. Uh, it's very easy and very fast uh, task. Uh, once we do that, we want to go to dashboard and to the top left corner and we want to make a zap. Once we click on make a zap, we can name our zap for uh, future purposes, like uh, when you have to track back your integrations or so. So let's go Notion with uh, whatever. And now uh, we have to set up a trigger. The trigger starts the zap when something happens in the app. Uh, our trigger will be Notion, obviously. So let's go with Notion, uh, trigger event, database item, continue. Now we have to uh, pick an account. Let's go with a Notion account, continue, uh, set up a trigger. I don't have anything here because uh, I created the Notion account only for this reason, uh, this purpose, just to show you guys how it's done, how we can make the integrations. Uh, but once you pick your database, you just click con uh, continue and uh, there will be an option to test your trigger. But uh, we can go to the second action, which will be actually the, the application affected uh, by this integration. So I don't know, let's go with, uh, for example, Trello. Uh, let's pick the action event. Let's go with the first one as well. Continue. And the last thing you have to do is just to sign in to, to Trello. And you are basically a couple of uh, clicks away from uh, creating these integrations. So yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching and see you on the next video.